and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everybody. All are present. Item number four. I make a motion to approve the minutes of the March 14th meeting. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold, approve the minutes of the March 14th meeting. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 5. Make a motion to recess the Commissioner's meeting and open a salary board at still 9 o'clock. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold, to recess the Commissioner's and open a salary board. All in favor? Aye. 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 Open salary board. Shall we worry? No, nine oh one. Okay, item number one. I make a motion to approve item number one on the agenda. I'll second. Motion by Commissioner Arnold, second by District Attorney O'Malley to approve item one on the agenda. Approve the minutes of the February twenty eighth salary board meeting. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Item two. I'll make a motion to create a non-union full-time position of chief county detective for the office of district attorney salary fifty-five thousand dollars a year, minimum forty hours per week, six months probationary period, with benefits according to the government mandated requirements and county policy manual effective March twenty-eighth, two thousand eighteen. I'll second that. Motion by District Attorney O'Malley, signed by Commissioner Warren, to create the full-time position of Chief County Detective. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item three. I'll make a motion to approve item number three as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold, approve item three on the agenda to change the non-union full-time position title of 911 Operations DPS Systems Manager to 911 Systems Operations System Manager due to the elimination of the Public Safety Department. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any public comment on the salary board? Hearing none, item five. Make a motion to close salary board and go back to the commissioner saying I'll second that. <coughs> motion by Christian Warren, second by District Attorney O'Malley to close the salary board and return to the commissioner's meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Treasurer and District Attorney, if you have other important issues, you are more than welcome to leave at this time. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. At this time, um, where's Bob? Bob Templeton, please approach. Bob Templeton is our uh, Director of uh, Planning, and he has a small little presentation for us. Have that noted on the um, on the in the minutes that he presented. Please. Thank you. All yours, Bob. Go okay. Um, every the well, first of all, for some of you that don't know, the county has a uh, nine-member planning commission, a, a board appointed by the county commissioners. Uh, that um, the main job that the, cap the planning commission does is regulate subdivisions and land developments. Uh, it's a state mandated, um, you know, state allowed, I should say, um, regu regulatory agency. So every year, according to the state law, the planning commission has to report uh, their activity to the governing body. In this case, that's the county commissioner. So that's the purpose for this annual report. And the annual report is. It, you know, if you read through it, they've got the we've got the planning commission members and their districts. We we keep um, certain areas uh, for each planning commission person, just so they're spread out. They're not all you know located in Montreux, not all from Montrose or New Milford or something. So their their areas are spread out throughout the county. There's as they say, there's nine members, and we put in here the plant the powers and duties of the planning commission. One thing I wanted to point out, though, on page six, we get a lot of questions on why doesn't the planning commission stop this? 
you know, I don't want this going on right next to my house. Why can't you stop it and tell them to go away? Well, the Planning Commission, the county has a subdivision and land development ordinance which regulates dividing <coughs> land and the development of commercial industrial buildings. We don't have zoning. Um, some of the municipalities have zoning, mostly boroughs, one township, Herrick Township. And on page six, there's a discussion on the difference between subdivision and land development and zoning. Uh, subdivision, or I should, let's go to land development, says any use is allowed <coughs> anywhere, and the, prop, the, the, the issue is how does it fit and not um, harm the neighbors in any way. Zoning says, no, you can't have that here. It has to go over there. That's a big difference. So when people say, why is there something in you know, a certain township that we don't like, it's because we don't have zoning. We've tried, just hasn't worked out yet. We'll keep trying. So, my little speech for the day. Um, further on, we have, well, there are, okay, I, I also mentioned there's municipalities that have zoning, Forest City Borough, Hot Bottom Borough, Herrick Township, Montrose Borough, the Milford Borough, and Susquehanna Depot. There's the, there are the people with zoning. The other part of the plan is, what, what did the Planning Commission do during the year? Um, I always keep track of how many subdivision, the activity of subdivision uh, applications and, and the lots that are created. That's on page 13. This year, or last year, I should say, it's the 2017 annual report. We had 89 subdivision plans submitted, which created 50 new lots. That number, the 50 new lots, that number <coughs> of lots keeps going down every year. And we think that has to do with the fact that people are holding on to what they have because they've leased their land for, for royalties for gas. Uh, another thing that we mentioned here is um, we had a um, certain number of land developments submitted to, you know, 25 land developments. 13 out of 25 were related to natural gas. So, and that's been consistent throughout the years. And the last thing I want to point out is um, in, the, in the back, the appendix to the annual report, we, last year in May, we put a, uh, we did a, resident survey in preparation of updating the county's comprehensive plan and we put the results of the survey as the appendix of this of this plan there's some you can read through it there's some interesting uh, thoughts that people have had but i wanted to point out that we we received 11.4 percent return rate that's not a lot you know a little over 10 percent of the people responded so i wish more would have responded but you can't make them do it so that's about it. If anybody has any questions, we're across the across the street in the county office building, and we'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Bob. All right. This time we'll move on to item number six on the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve item number six is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Hall, approve item six on the agenda. <coughs> approve the cash disbursements, electronic payments. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 7. Make a motion to approve item number 7 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, second by Christian Arnold. Approve item 7 on the agenda. Approve the following seminar request or payments for seminars. And so listed. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Item number 8. Make a motion to approve <coughs> item number 8 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, signed by Christian Arnold, to approve item 8, to acknowledge the regret the resignation of Maggie McNamara, Victim Witness Coordinator, effective March 28th, for the recommendation of District Attorney Marion O'Malley. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. So carried. Item 9? Make a motion to approve item number 9, as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, signed by Christian Arnold, to approve item 9 on the agenda to acknowledge the transfer of John Oliver Montrose from the non union full time position of county detective to the open non union full time position of chief county detective, effective March 29th. A minimum 40 hours, salary of 55000 per year, six months probation, benefits according to the government mandated requirements. Per the recommendation of the district attorney, Marion O'Malley. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. So carried. Item 10. I'll make a motion to approve item number 10 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, signed by Christian Arnold to approve item 10 on the agenda. Acknowledge the regret the resignation of Sharon James, Domestic Relations Conference Officer, 
effective April 5th, 20, April 5th, 2018, per the recommendation of Judge Jason Lake. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. So carried. Item 11. I'll make a motion to approve item number 11 with the um, amendment of taking out drug and alcohol program agreements, uh, contracts, and making in Susquehanna County's behavioral health and intellectual disability early intervention program contracts. All right, I'll second that. Morning. Okay, I have a motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold. Will they approve changes? Questions or comments? What was the total amount on that? You know, like 2.5 million? It's like 12. It's on the summer issue. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, she's very Oh, here it is. Twelve million the value of twelve million thirty-nine thousand three hundred thirteen, and our portion is how much? You remember? I think one hundred and twelve thousand three hundred. Right. You get twelve million dollars worth of services for one hundred twelve thousand. So, questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Make a motion to approve item number 12 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, saying by Christian Arnold, approve item 12 on the agenda to sign the Act 101, Section 902 Municipal Recycling Program grant to reimburse the county 90% of costs associated with the purchase of equipment, repairs to the pavement, and advertising for the Susquehanna County Recycling Center. Total funds requested 105076 Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 13. Make a motion to approve item number 13 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold, approve item 13 on the agenda to approve the uh, filing tax claim bureau exoneration request as so stated. Questions or comments? <coughs> Questions. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 14. Make a motion to approve item number 14 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, signed by Christian Arnold, to provide 14 on the agenda to adopt resolution 2018 02 authorizing modification of the county's uh, 2015 community block grant program. Questions or comments? Basically, what that is is their um, project in Lanesboro. They're shifting the money around from the Parks and Recreations project in the borough to use for uh, neighborhood facilities, line items, and paving, and, and uh, road line items. So, still money going in the same borough. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 15. Make a motion to approve item number 15 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, second by Christian Warren, approve item 15 on the agenda to adopt Proclamation 2018-04 claim in the month of April 2018 is Child Abuse Awareness Month. Questions or comments? Yes, please. Um, I'm Michelle Dresner, the director of the Children and Youth Office here in Susquehanna County, and I want to thank um, our Susquehanna County commissioners today for the support they give to the Children and Youth Office here in Susquehanna County. Your support really allows us to be able to focus on the work that we are tasked to do, which is to work with families within this county struggling with issues from child abuse to neglect. As we all know, this is a rural county, and service availability is sometimes challenging due to the at least 400 square mile radius. 
um, that this county encompasses. The commissioners are always open to ideas of services to assist our families. Today, we are um, happy to have the Children's Service Center represented here, which is a service contract we have um, to provide forensic interviews and medical exams, and they um, can share some more of what they do, to children who are alleged victims of primarily sexual abuse. This was a vision for many people in our county to have this here, including our now judge, but former district attorney, Jason Legg, John Oliver, who was then a Pennsylvania State Police Trooper, now county detective, myself, and community members with a vested interest in protecting our children. We were joined in these efforts by our counterparts in Wyoming County who shared an equal amount of passion for the work we do. We worked tirelessly to put our vision into action, and Mr. Michael Zimmerman, through the Family Services Association, took it on under their association, um, under their umbrella, so that we could be able to have this here in our own backyard, rather than travel to Lackawanna County for the service. The commissioners, again, support this center through our contract to serve these children. They've provided pinwheels for us to plan out front today, which represents each of the children served from both our county and Wyoming counties this year at the center. That number doesn't represent every child served through this agency. And just to put into perspective the numbers that we served in 2017, Susquehanna County Services for Children and Youth received over 200 reports of alleged child abuse, which includes both physical and sexual abuse. We also received approximately 900 reports that were investigated under General Protective Services. This encompasses reports of child neglect and other reports received. Commissioner Warren and I served together on the Susquehanna Lackawanna, um, we called that here, joined our board to advocate for mental and behavioral health services for this county. Commissioner Hall regularly checks in to see if our needs are being met and if we have enough staff to meet the needs of the children and families in our county, as well as the resources to do so. Commissioner Arnold recently spoke one-on-one -on -one with me about the work we're doing and how it all gets done. It would be much more difficult for all of us to do our jobs without your support. So thank you for all that you do to make it possible for us to do what we do to protect the children here in Susquehanna County. It takes the collaboration of our community partners and agencies and the local government here to make it all work. We're thankful for our relationships that make it possible for all of us to do our work to help the children and families here in Susquehanna County. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other public comment on this item? I yes. just want to uh, say, and Michael Zimmerman with Family Service Association, I also want to thank the commissioners and children and youth on, and the people on our multidisciplinary investigative team that make our job so much easier. So thank you for your support. And I also have to comment, it wasn't an easy decision for Family Service to take this <laughs> on. Uh, you know, we actually were approached by another entity, by a victim service uh, organization, uh, to do this because of our reputation, and it's worked well, and again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Billy? Yeah, I was a township supervisor many years ago. I ran into several problems where we had a call from <coughs> children and youth, and we're, they're one of the few agencies, along with area aging, that actually get out and do something and correct the problems, and I appreciate that. All in favor? Aye. 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 So carried. Okay, any public comment on the commissioner's meeting? Commissioner Hall, can I just yes. uh, invite anyone that it has the time and availability to come and join us to do pinwheels and possibly take some pictures? That would be wonderful, yeah, too. We'll be doing that right after the meeting. So. Thank you. All right. Hearing none, motion to... Could I just comment about resource day? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say um, we had an excellent turnout for Resource Day. We had almost 60 agencies, organizations, partners um, there. Um, some of the faces here today are the faces that were there, and uh, including you know children and youth. And I just want to say that um, without that partnership of having all those resources available to Susquehanna County, um, we wouldn't be able to have um, the quality of living that we have here. And while people say that we may not have all the resources that we need, we're growing and we can't have it all in one day. And if you choose to live in a rural community, 
sometimes you know you have to go a little far, further to um, to get the services. But taxes have not been raised by the commissioners uh, since 2000, 2005. So 13 years later, um, we have not raised the taxes, but we've been able to offer more services than ever. <coughs> so I want to thank our you know partnering agencies, and we made it a more fun type of um, environment this year with memberships like the Farm Bureau and and uh, the uh, the library and Susquehanna Rocks and things like that. So I just want to thank everybody for supporting Susquehanna County and, and doing business and, and taking care of our residents. Thank you. Okay, can I get a motion to adjourn and go to the town so report? Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're now open our retirement board. And right after that, we'll go to the pinwheel. Okay. Retirement board is open at 921. Uh, let's see. All are present. Okay. Item number three. I think I made the motion. I think it is, yeah. Okay. It should be corrected for that. All right. I'll make a motion to um, approve the minutes with the, with the input of the motion of setting the interest rate for 2018 at 4% by, I made the motion. I'm sure I did. Seconded by Miller, Treasurer Miller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a, do I have a second on approving the minutes? I'll second it. Okay, um, motion and a second to approve the minutes with the input of Commissioner Warren for the motion. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, at this time we're going to get a little presentation from Brinker Capital on our pension plan and uh, ask us for some action. Yeah. Please go ahead. All right, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to talk for five hours about the market. This is uh, five minute overview. Uh, three objectives. One, uh, we're recommending to update the pension plan's investment policy statement. Two, a little bit about how the plan did in 2017 in the past. And then three, uh, two uh, tweaks to the plan as we look ahead. So, on the uh, investment policy statement, investment policy statement is a financial roadmap. Uh, it helps you figure out where you want to go in the, uh, in the future. And when Brinker was first engaged back in uh, October of 2012, the pension plan uh, had about 12 uh, million in assets. Today it's over 27 million in assets. But the most important factor is that when we were first engaged, the pension plan had a 60% funding ratio. And what that really means is that the, the county had, if you had $100 worth of liabilities, you only had about $60 worth of assets to pay for those liabilities. Today, the plan is fully funded. In fact, we have about $109 for every $100 of liabilities. And the reason why that's important, as we look ahead into the future, it's in all likelihood we're not going to continue to see really high market returns. So now that the plan is fully funded, it's, more, it's going to be a higher likelihood of being able to take care of those, plan, those uh, liabilities in the future and not uh, require you know, citizens of the county to have to chip in extra dollars to meet those those liabilities. So on an annual basis, we review the plan. Uh, when we last got together, we thought it would be appropriate to make some tweaks to the plan, uh, the investment policy statement, that is. So the investment policy statement was 20 pages long. We moved it down to 13, basically just consolidating some of the um, uh, language that really was a little extra that didn't need to be placed in there. Uh, some minor tweaks to the targets, um, basically suggesting as we look ahead, uh, increasing equities, the target by about 2%, fixed income by 3%, reducing alternative weightings by, by 5%, and that's the, the, the difference. Uh, in all the scheme of things, marginally making the plan a little bit more, as we go forward, more conservative, which makes sense because we're now fully funded and you want to be more conservative once you reach that, that fully funded uh, status. So those are some comments about the uh, investment policy statement. As we think about the plan, uh, 2017 was a, a really great year. We were blessed with uh, very strong markets. The plan itself was actually up over 14%. It was the strongest year we've had since we were engaged in, uh, in 2012. And in fact, the appreciation on the plan was approximately three and a half million dollars. So that's, again, uh, contributing to that reduction of the, the funding rate. As we look ahead, uh, what we would recommend 
is within our fixed income segment, we want to make our fixed income a little bit more conservative than it's been in the past. And it's really paid off to have been a little bit more aggressive. For the last five years, it's been kind of a risk on environment. And as we look ahead, again, we're fully funded. We're uh, concerned that maybe we don't want to be taking as much risks going forward. So the way we would accomplish this is simply by moving from our current fixed income manager, which is a firm called William Jones, and we move that to Bellhaven. We'll be moving to a pure 100% investment grade uh, fixed income with that part of the allocation. Part two is we have a small allocation towards emerging markets. Uh, emerging markets were up close to 38% last year, so that was a good decision to have that allocation. As we look ahead, what we want to do is just change that mandate a little bit. We'll keep that same manager, but rather than just have them buy emerging market equities, we'll give them the flexibility to also buy stocks in developed markets as well. Uh, this will just broaden their mandate, and we think as we go forward, hopefully uh, create a little bit better uh, risk return uh, profile as we go forward. So I know that was a pretty quick overview, but um, i trying to keep it tight. Okay, at this time we'll need a, an action to uh, approve the um, retirement system statement of policy objectives and guidelines and to approve his two recommended changes. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. A motion by Treasurer Miller, seconded by Commissioner Warren. And I will just add, because I, I'm a geek and love cranking numbers, um, at the end of 2017, the 109 was at the end of 2016. At the end of 2017, we're at 113.2% funded. So now I know the market's dropped a little bit this year, but hopefully things will bounce back. But uh, continue to move positively forward. The goal, of course, from us is always to get this fund at a position where it's self-supporting and we don't have to put any tax dollars into it. So that's our goal. So with that said, any other questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 So carried. Any public comment on the retirement board? And I would like to say, in addition, on the retirement board that, you know, we've been very fortunate, you know, fund that back in... 2012 was 40 percent underfunded, uh, so basically we had about a 13 million dollar uh, liability that wasn't funded to a program today that is 100 over 100 percent funded, and the taxpayers are putting very little, if any, money into it, um, and doing that without raising taxes, borrowing money, or creating any debt. Uh, we've been very blessed, and uh, we, we should be very fortunate in that. That's a huge savings to our taxpayers to having this thing funded that we're not going to have to come up with that money. Uh, there are other counties that basically 80% um, of their budget is to cover their debt and we're lucky to be one of those counties that doesn't have any debt either short term or long term so we're very fortunate. So with that said we'll move to item 5. I'll make a motion to close the retirement board. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, signed by Chris Allen to close the retirement board. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are closed, and that concludes today's meetings. I thank everybody for coming. If you want to join us, we'll be out front putting pinwheels in the front yard.